What's up guys? Sam and I here out at Prado Olympic Shooting Park where we do most of our videos. Mm -hmm. um, great people, great range. If you're local, um, get down here. Um, they will treat you nice. And the weather, well, last time it was pretty windy, but today it's absolutely beautiful. So um, we got shotguns today. Um, everybody knows we are huge proponents of shotguns, especially for home defense. We're probably gonna get into that in another video, have some more debates, maybe some arguing. Um, but today we have the, the Kel-Tec KSG and the Kel-Tec KS7. KS7. Yes. Um, we'll go over the differences. I've wanted a Kel-Tec for a long time only because for home defense, um, I think there's some advantages. It being a bullpup, it's much shorter. If you don't know what a bullpup is, a bullpup is when the magazine or feeding mechanism is behind the trigger assembly and the grip versus in front of it. So it allows you that that barrel actually starts way back here so you can get the length that you need out of the gun um, in a much more compact package. And in a household setting or in a home defense setting, I really like um, the option of it being smaller. I also like the option of the dual tubes of the KSG. So it is pretty cool. Yes, it is fully legal in California. Each tube is seven rounds and they're manually switchable, uh, which is fucking really, really cool because you can run birdshot and run buck. You can run birdshot and you can run slug. Different threats, different actions on your part as far as what you're going to take, right? Um, it is really easy to switch them. Just a little switch back here, we'll go over that. Um, so in an instance where that threat was escalated and you needed a slug, you needed to go through a wall, um, somebody had armor on, anything like that, you can switch to something that's gonna be have a little bit more penetration, I said penetration. <laughs> and, or you can go to your normal bird shot, which is gonna have a little bit less kick, a little bit more manageable, a little bit more spread, um, a little bit more kill radius, basically, mm -hmm. um, in, that, in that instance. But um, like I said, I like them. I've never shot them. Mm. Have you? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so this will be a first for me. It so should be it interesting. Should, it should be kind of interesting on that. Um, it does have, the KSG has pick rail up top, and it does have sling point here. You know, we, have a, we have an ambulance standing by for when this kicks him on his ass and he gets a concussion. So. Is that bad? It's not that bad. Okay, good. Well, Jesus. <laughs> Stop scaring me, man. I'm a scary little guy. Um, the This one, KS7? Yeah. Talk about this one. So the KS7 is uh, is kind of the little brother of the KSG if you want to make it as simple as possible. It is a single magazine tube. And that's really the main difference. Other single than, barrel. Correct. Single yeah. So tube. KSG is two. Two, two. two magazine tubes, but one barrel, obviously. Oh, one one functioning right. barrel. Right. These come with a built-in carry handle, um, if you want to call it that, as well as a built-in iron uh, uh, fiber optic sight. You kind of have a slight rear. It's more of like a line, kind of like a lollipop sight. You kind of line it up. Um, there's not much you can do to modify these particular firearms to be more ergonomic for you as you as you shoot, but they shoot just fine. It's not not horrible. They're light, which means you get a lot of recoil because there's not much weight actually con like contradicting that recoil. They cycle well. The only issue I've ever had with KSGs is that when you first get them, you have to rack the absolute shit out of them to make those rounds come out of the magazine so the magazine tube. Interesting. So if you like just kind of baby rack it, they won't release. So hmm. you have a non-feed, which means you're just dead in the water at that point, which sucks. Do they work in? From what I've heard, I haven't owned one long enough to where I, I would say it would be like, yeah, it's, it works itself in. But I have heard from people who own them that they do work themselves in. Okay. But other than that, they're a pretty simple firearm. Um, they have very simple controls. You have a standard like shotgun safety, which is one bar straight through that has your safe on one side and your fire on the other. Um, this is your pump action release. For those who are unfamiliar with pump action shotguns, when they are racked forward with a round in it, it makes it to where you can't rack, unrack it because it makes it to where you don't rack, action rack the round out. You have to release the action, rack it, and then rack it again. That's kind of how you can physically make sure the gun is clear. You actually load in with it closed from this back area here. If you can see this, this is your follower, the little white part right there. And then your action, if I can rack it right here, I'll show you is this little bolt that sits in the back right here, which is kind of nice. So you can actually see everything working on the inside there. Um, KSG is the same. KSG is the same, minus what we were talking about earlier, the, uh, the tube, the magazine tubes, right? So the weird thing I find with these is that I don't like that they have a middle. <laughs> so yeah, what's the middle for? It's just for, lock, for locking it up to where nothing feeds. Nothing so, will feed. Yeah, so you can choose, if you switch it to the 
left hand side, your left hand tube will go. If you just the right hand side, your right hand tube will go. So you can load slugs or birdshot and one other one. Or mini shells, which I forgot to talk about. Or you can shells. load a shitload of mini shells in there. I think you can get 14 in each tube or something like that. Uh -huh. So you could have a ton of rounds out of that. And I know people that do that. They'll run mm -hmm. three inch or 2.75s and mini shells on one side. And yeah, and these are these are confirmed to work with mini shells. Yep. I know some shotguns have a problem feeding them. These ones are known to actually feed them pretty well, pretty, pretty productively. So we don't have mini shells today. We have a Fiocchi high velocity buckshot that we're gonna shoot, uh, mainly because I wanted to watch Justin hurt himself. Um, dude, why do you keep doing this? I mean, it's just because more it, fun. I'm gonna do it right now. That's fine, dude. Fuck this. I'm just, I'm over you. I'm over you, man. You've been over me for three years. Do, do you have, do you have rounds? No. So like we talked about, Justin doesn't really have much time behind this fire, minus like pressing it out of the shop. So we just give him a little bit of time to warm up to it. So I haven't done, so I'm gonna select. Yep, the tube, it's open. On the right and then there. it just goes in. Yep. So usually I would push that action forward. Cause you always load shotguns on a closed action. Sorry. That's all good. New to this just, just, It makes it, cause like some shotguns, they won't allow you to op close, uh, load on open action. So I can go there, but I can't go back to this side because, okay, does it? So it's once okay. it's out. So yep. it's switching mid to. So wherever, wherever this is pointed is the tube that you're on. Correct. Okay. And now there, is there a round hot? No. Nope. And, and can I press check? Uh, there's not a round hot and you cannot press check unless you're looking at the bottom of the gun. Okay, so now the round is hot. Allegedly, let's see if you racked it all the way. What do you mean? Let's, let's check. Let's check if you racked it all the way, right? Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Radical. So one expelled. So we're good there. Like I said, I don't have this platform. I'm not used to semi-auto. Used to them. Put regular pump action. Used to them. This is a different platform. So that's why I got out here and pressed out with it, racked with it, with it completely dry, mm -hmm. so that I'm a little bit more used to the action before I go and shoot it. Mm -hmm. See how you like it. So safety is on your left hand side. There you go. Okay, that, that's not nearly as bad as you said, and that's with high velocity. Mm -hmm. you, were, you were just talking <laughs> shit just to scare me. What an asshole. Uh, so, I mean, I would really concentrate on, so just so you guys know, and people may talk shit on this, when I was pressing that out, I've always been taught, I have some friends that were operators and, and, and guys that, that really fought wars, and they teach to run that gun in as middle as you can. Not out here, not here, as middle. So your body takes the recoil. That was not that bad, dude. It, right. didn't sh it didn't sh oh, holy shatter shit. my teeth or anything. Look at that. Look, look at that. you, man. Look at this. Ah, I got him to move. Come here, what? look at this. What? You so actually, you can. You have a brass check. So you don't need to press check. You can check the brass on the side of the tube, which is cool. That's neat. I didn't actually do that. See this right here? See this little, this little brass. Get in there, Nikki. Can brass you see nuggets. It? Those are your actual rounds inside your tubes. You can see how many rounds you got left. It's kind of neat. I actually didn't know that. You're a liar. That's not that bad. <laughs> That is not that bad. That's enjoyable. I wanted one before, <laughs> and now I want one even more. Uh, do they sell a different uh, butt pad if you wanted a bigger so butt the, pad? The, the weird thing about KSGs is there's very few companies that actually make parts for KSGs. Now, the big argument about KSGs is that like these pick rails down here, if you ever run like forward grips or whatever it may, whatever, what have you, like they are a polymer Picatinny rail, so they do break. And there okay, have been so, videos of people breaking them. So I've always thought that I would need to run an angled foregrip or, uh, or vertical foregrip on it to rack it. But it actually racked just nice. And everybody knows I got shitty small hands, right? But I racked it just fine. Yeah, it works fine. They, they, they don't have like, there's not much friction on them. They work super simple. That had less recoil than a regular 870, dude. You said, I don't even like you anymore. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Mate, right. Kevin, I lied. Maybe we will need more shotgun stuff. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay. 
Thanks. Got it. Do this one handed over here. Like a pro. Oh, that's for me? Yeah. Oh. And, I, and I can carry it? Yeah, like a briefcase. Carry it's, it to work. It's a little weird the way that it sits because uh, you would normally carry it, it's going to be up, which is yeah, weird. Yeah, because your ass end has the most weight. Yeah. Yeah, take it to work with you, show your neighbors, you know, whatever you want. Okay, so that, that thing is really high. It's a, it's a lot like the lollipop site. So that rear ridge section is kind of where you're going to be like putting. I like the that. diamond point to that optic, it's to neat. that fiber yeah. optic. That's I don't cool. know if the aiming point is the top of that diamond or if it's the center of the diamond, but. It's fair. Well, you shouldn't need it. But yeah. the, the other thing is when you saw how I was pressing out, and this isn't like a training class, but it's hard to get on the sights if I have this out here because I really have to cock my head more. But as I take that gun and I center it more in me, my head drops into that sight path much nicer. Rather than right? cranking from left to right, Correct. you're just so ducking as I'm, What I was doing is just trying to find the right fitment so it's right, it's right here, right? So I'm compact and my body is taking as much of the recoil as possible. That one has more recoil than the KSG. It's lighter. Yeah. This one has more recoil, for sure. I felt that a lot more. It'd be funny to look and see. I have very sensitive skin, but I mark <laughs> up like. You are so fucking red. I mark up super quick. Like <laughs> it'll just be, it'll just be fucking ribs there. But it's, so that one is not as enjoyable, mm -hmm. but it's smaller, thinner, lighter. lighter. Yep. Uh, probably easier to manipulate as far as the foregrip goes. Mm -hmm. It's not bad though. It's not. You agree more recoil or no? I, I like shooting shotgun a lot, so I don't really get a whole lot of, I don't really it, mind shooting shotgun because I 300 fucking pounds, so it doesn't really bother me too much. It's true. However, it's a uh, notice. It, it's so rare to, I mean, you know, after shooting there all the time that you have, it's so rare to t pick up two guns of very similar types and calibers and notice a night and day difference in recoil. So you did? Uh huh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Which is uh, super, super rare. So it's, yeah. it's interesting. Like these, I like that the, I like that it comes with built in sights already. Yeah. Um, but, if you're John Wick, you toss a Neotech on that thing and then you're fine. I, I mean, sights on shotguns for me have always been slightly... Red dots or sights? Um, sights. Have always been slightly... What the fuck? Like, you, you, need, you, you need a ghost ring sight for, uh, for birdshot? No, you don't. Yeah, that one bent it. Um, you need a ghost ring sight for birdshot? No. Now, shooting rifled slugs, shooting slugs, yeah. yes, I understand that a dot or an optic would be good. For me, I have never used... Now, I will admit I've changed. You helped kind of change my perspective. Yes. Um, one of these days you'll say the same thing to me, but I haven't Probably. got it yet. Um, I always viewed shotgun as home defense, right? A very tight window, um, very short distance. Now, as I've gotten older and I've shot them more, the 870 or uh, my Versamax or things like that, I can throw rifled slugs in that. I can run a stack load of buck, rifle, buck, rifle, bird, rifle. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that I can take that gun and I can punch somebody from 30 yards, dude. Yeah. And so it's nice. You've always said that the most versatile gun in the world is a shotgun. Let's get some comments on that. How much do you believe in that? But Close range, long range, different kinds of ammunition. Um, you know, yeah, remember you're not touching cool. out at a hundred fucking yards yep. with a. Uh, you can. There is a. There are guns that can do it with proper rifled barrels. Like if you're running rifled slugs, you should be running a rifled barrel. Um, who actually does? No, a lot of shotguns are smoothbore, so you're really right. not getting everything most, out. Most yeah, them. you're not getting everything out of a rifled slug if you're shooting it out of a smoothbore. If you're shooting a rifled slug out of a rifled shotgun, you're going to get a lot better ballistics and a lot better distance out of that particular cartridge. Yeah. It's, uh, I think Clint Smith says it. It's the right load at the right distance. That's exactly what you should be focusing on: the right load at the right distance. Shotguns can do everything. Yeah. His his famous words are like. 
Handguns put bullets in people, rifles put bullets through people, shotguns remove chunks of shit from your opponent and throw that shit on the ground. And it's very true, because shotguns are a devastating tool when it comes to protecting yourself. It's awesome. Um, and they have a lot of purposes. So these are compact. So I wanted one, but now I'm for sure gonna get one for the house. Yeah, they're they're just, they're small, they're tight. If you decide to John Wick through your house or in a tight area, you can keep, you can stay very small. Mm -hmm. um, you can switch the tubes with this, which is awesome. You can put a set of irons on it if you want, or just throw a red dot on it and you will be, you will be fine. A small thing that I've noticed too with the KSGs, it, it's, it's small, but it's kind of neat for me that like I can get a full C grip and never worry about the barrel burning my hand. Oh, that's cool. It's just a small, like it's, if you shoot shotguns a lot, you know, like you're really just stuck to the fore end, but I like getting a solid C grip and I can still rack back and still get a C grip and have good control of the firearm, but I'm gonna burn my hand if I use that on a standard shotgun. Cause you get True. five or six rounds in, right. barrel gets real hot. Yeah. Um, just a little thing that like, yeah. it's small, like nuances that I think are kind of cool for these particular shotguns. It's comfortable. I mean, so here's the real question, like, if you can go Mossberg 500, 590, Remington 870, or this for home defense, is it enough to push you over the edge to convert you from one of those? God, no. Yeah, I, I'm kind of in the same spot. Um, if my life absolutely depended upon it, it's an 870 or a 590 mm -hmm. or a 500 for me personally. Yep. Am I gonna buy one of these? And will it take the place of one of my shotguns? Cause my wife has one and I have one. Yes, it will. So I guess I'm saying I do trust it enough. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't like that fact of, do I know I cycle that next round in? That part is a little iffy for me. So that may weigh into my decision. Maybe it'll weigh into your guys' decision. Maybe you work it in enough. Well, oh, that's, that looks so bad. <laughs> no, that looks bad too. Maybe you rack it off enough uh, to where you never have that issue. I just don't like having that in the back of my head. Yeah, for uh, sure. Like but, it's tough because 870 has been around for so long too. And the, the plat particular platform shotgun is perfected. You know, so this, this shotgun's still not young, but it is still a relatively new shotgun for as long as shotguns are concerned, you know, like it's still a younger shotgun, it's still yep. a younger platform and design. So I think it's got a lot of really good points here and there. And I think it's still a really good shotgun. Super. And cool. we didn't have any issues shooting today and they cycled everything we wanted it to and didn't kick like a fucking mule. No, it was so much better. I'm still, I'm going to be pissed off at you for the rest of the day on that. <laughs> Gee, it freaked me out that it was going to be super bad. That's They're not really asking not. much. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm pretty good at it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I do like this as far as how my cheek sits on it too. It's comfortable. So it is we, kind of a flared, a flared uh, well. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice. It's not yeah. not overly comfortable, but not overly uncomfortable. It's not either. just a regular tube like that. Uh -huh. So it is pretty comfy. Yeah. Um, and there are companies like I, I was I got forgot lost myself. They do make metal rails for the bottom of these. They do make uh, different versions. Um, you just replace this whole thing? You play, replace the whole thing and they do make metal actual Picatinny rails on the bottom. They have extensions, they have muzzle devices for them. Why you need a muzzle device and a shotgun, I don't fucking know. But they do make them for them. They, they have some parts that are kind of neat, but they are very, very, very proprietary. And they do make an NR version also. Yes. Um, the NR version has a light built in, which is pretty cool. We don't have any in stock right now, but I'm gonna try and get some in and maybe we'll do a short video just on those ones because they're yeah. kind of cool too. They're cool. They're um, super, I mean, the, that one's kind of dorky because it does have like eight inches of barrel sticking out, which yep. is kind of is what it is. But like out of California, they're pretty neat. Yeah, um, they're super small um, overall, but they're it's still a good shotgun and obviously made by a really good company. Keltec's got a lot of really good products that they make. So. Yep. Cool. Yep. Sounds good. I think this is the best product they make personally. Yeah. Um, but um, I mean, the Tavors are really good also. That's uh, IWI. Uh, that's IWI. Oh no. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. thinking sub two thousands. I, I think. am thinking sub two thousands. I was, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really liked it. First time shooting it. Uh, I most likely will buy one. Um, gives you lots of options. Um, home defense is definitely an option. Yeah. Um, and the switchable tubes and everything like that. So please let us know what you guys think. If you guys have kel don't like them, don't like them. Comment, subscribe, share. Um, but we got these in store too. So uh, yeah, if you're on your, if you're on our uh, our Instagram too, send Raul like photos of your guys' Keltex that you use as your home defense guns. Like, what yep. do you guys do to them? Yep. Even I'm kind of curious because I don't know a whole lot about what you can change on, but I'd be down to see what you guys do. So definitely send us some stuff. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you guys soon. Thanks for coming out.